guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Um, welcome to Stash Building Saturday. I'm working with my dies today and I combined a new collection with an old collection to try and use up some of the paper. Um, I'm using Buenos Dias and um, the new Jen Hatfield collection, which is, what is the name of it? One moment, Flower Child. So I'm combining those two. They're all very retro and pastel. Um, so I got out my dies and I'm just going to be creating some dies to go with those collections. So um, I made, let's see, I wanted retro pieces. So I went with some cassette tapes. I did some popsicles for summertime. Um, I'm gonna make like a little lemonade stand over here. I, Put together these little rainbows already. I did it with the acetate. Um, I sewed each rainbow, oops, layer on there. Um, so I made up two of those. So these are done. I did a little bit of prep work on the tapes. I just sewed around the edges there. Um, I actually sewed those on so I didn't even glue it. So a lot of the tape stuff is like intricate so I'm going to use this Barely Arts glue which is like my favorite glue. I think it's very similar to um, all the other ones like the art glitter glue things like that. I think they're all very similar. Um, so anything with a precision tip I think is going to help you with paper piecing. So I cut out the little things for the tape deck in gold. So I'm just gonna be gluing those on. And then for two of the tapes, I did decide to pop up one element on it. Um, and the other one I'll just leave flat. So you'll see that in a minute. So I got these on. I just wanted to give wanna line those spokes up with each other. Um, and then I did this ahead of time. So this is going to go down here just to give it a little dimension. Um, I did it on one or two. I didn't do it on the third one. I'm not sure. <laughs> I had my like thick foam next to me um, because I was creating one shaker. So I did it with the um, thick foam. I think I probably would have liked it better with a thinner foam, but it's fine. Like I, I think it gives it dimension, like I said, and I think if you added like embellishments or flowers or something to the cassette tape, it would, um, it'll look fine. So um, I also want to put the, um, the actual tape inside here. So then these have to line up these spokes as well. I love how this looks when it is all put together. It's just a really putsy die, but you know, that's okay for some of them. Okay, get on there. Trying to line that all up. Yeah, it's so cute. I'm not gonna do all of these together with you guys, but um, I'll show you some pictures um, at the end. So tell me if any of you have been working on um, building your stash or busting any of your stash. Um, you know, I definitely want to be using the paper pads that I have. And uh, I haven't bought in really any of the new collections in a while. So I was okay buying the Flower Child one um, just because I thought it was so cute. And um, well, let's see. That can go in the back if you want it, but I think I'm going to leave it off. I could put it down here. Then you kind of get that gold reflection through there. Maybe I'll do that instead. Um, but yeah, I think that's meant to go behind here if you wanted to close off the, the tape part. But um, anyway, I did pick up another collection um, and they were just different collections. They're not, uh, you know, some of the real, <laughs> super popular ones, but there was a peachy cheap deal. I think it was last night actually, which is bad because I always do my like impulse shopping when I'm laying in bed at night. Um, so the peachy cheap came up and it was, um, a simple stories, but it was like a summer camp theme and it was so stinking cute. I had to, 
I had to get it. So I did purchase that. So I think I'm set on summer collections for a while and I don't think that I'll probably um, purchase anything until um, Halloween and Christmas collections start coming out. But, and I don't think I bought, I didn't buy any new Halloween last year. So I'm excited to buy new Halloween this year. Um, I did go on the Echo Park um, website, like their sale page that they had, uh, or their warehouse sale, and I was going to get one of their collections, and then I just never, like, checked it out, so I didn't end up getting it, but I did like, um, there was a couple of the Echo Park ones that I did like, but I think I'll wait for the new ones to come out. Um, I do know that I want kind of a vintage looking one this year and um, I'm excited to see who comes out with them. All right, I'll finish putting this tape together. We'll make the um, popsicle, which is the one that I'm making into a shaker. And then um, I'll put the lemonade stand together off camera and then I'll just come back and show you guys what they all look like when I'm done. I have not played with my dies in quite a while, so it felt good to get them out and kind of just like go through them and remember which ones I had and uh, determine which ones um, I was gonna use for this. I kind of had an idea, I remembered some of them and I actually have, um, I think two different dies that I had with the Buenos Dias collection that I um, have from the last time I played with it. So some are like uh, Scrap Divas um, heart sunglasses and then um, one of the soda bottles too. I think, I don't know if it was, I think KS Crafts. And uh, so I have those to play with as well. All right, so these are done. Let's put together our little popsicle here. So I did glue my acetate down on there. I have some um, glue that I have to clean up when I'm all done here, so, um, but I'll wait to do that until everything's dry. So, I'm gonna pop my top layer on here. And then since I'm going with the gold accents, All right, since I'm going with the gold accents, I made a little gold popsicle stick. I love how the wood grain is embossed on there. I think that's so cute. So let me put this little guy on. It's gonna go back here. Okay, and then I've got my little pieces I'm gonna put in. Got these, and then over here. So these are little fruit pieces. And then I've got some yellow I'm gonna add. And then I've got some pink I'm gonna add. And then I'll add some white. And this white is like a little mixture here. It's super cute. So it's got like diamond dots and little um, stars and floral pieces. So it's a really neat combination. And little, uh, actually like little balls in there. It's really pretty. It's from, um, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of it? It's from the sequins uh, place that we all buy our sequins from. <laughs> 
back on here and then we'll set this aside to dry while I work on my um, lemonade stand. And then I will come back and show you guys how they all turn out. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of the embellishments done and this is like just the base layer of all of them. Um, when I get ready to work on a project, I can go back in, add um, sequins, add um, flowers, add little embellishment pieces, anything I want to just kind of jazz them up. Um, here's the lemonade stand. This is one of the pieces from last year. It is one of the soda, bo soda bottles. Then I have the um, two different sunglasses here, ready to be embellished. And then the cassette tapes here. So these are the two that I popped up the bottom piece. And then here is the one that is flat. So these are ready to go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know what you're working on. Let me know if you're um, still doing your summer crafting. Um, are you stash busting anything? Let me know. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.